Welcome to Sevilla. Sevilla is the beating heart of the Spanish region of Andalusia, from being the capital of the Islamic rule in Spain, the birthplace of Flamingo, and the center of Spanish exploration of the new world, this city will leave you completely in awe. Just got my ticket to visit Alcazar, which is one of the most popular and most visited monuments here in Sevilla. I'm so excited to show you around this beautiful city and take you on another adventure together. And by the way, if you're new here, my name is Habiba, I'm a full-time adventure traveler and this is my YouTube channel Checking Pals where I share my adventures around the world. You ready to explore Sevilla? Let's go! The Royal Alcazar of Sevilla is one of many monuments still standing as a witness of the Islamic reign in Andalusia from the 8th century. Alcazar was built by the Muslims and later used as the royal residence of the conquering Christians. It's now a UNESCO World Heritage open to visitors from around the world. I am in complete loss of words at how incredible the architecture is. I truly have a feeling as if I am in Morocco and I just have this wave of emotions that I'm going through just looking at it and marveling at the beauty of the Islamic architecture out here. It's just so impeccable. It took 500 years to fully complete the construction of the palace to achieve the architectural wonder that it is right now, a beautiful blend of Islamic and Christian architecture. I was never touched by a historic monument like today. It's uh, just such an incredible sight and seeing the intertwine between the Islamic architecture, the Gothic architecture, if you will, is just so incredible and how both styles are married together is just so unique, so unique. The palace is famous for its beautiful gardens with exotic species, scenes from the water gardens of Game of Thrones were filmed here. There is truly so much to see out here in Alcazar. I could stay here until they close, but I do want to make my way to the Cathedral of Sevilla, and I think they only have two hours until they close. It will be nice if I can make that happen. I'm going to make my way out of the Alcazar and we'll see you in the cathedral. I just got the ticket for the cathedral and they do also have audio guidebooks which they basically just gave me the phone. You have to pay extra for this one. The other one for the Alcazar was free audio but this one you have to pay because it's a phone and then they have a map with numbers for every place you're going to and you pretty much just type the number and then you listen to the audio tour which is neat. I think it's helpful just so that you you understand what you are looking at. The Cathedral of Sevilla is the largest Gothic church ever built and the fourth largest church in the world. The cathedral is so huge that you could fit a soccer field in it. And then upstairs now to tour the tower. The Giralda is the bell tower of the cathedral. It was built as the minaret for the great mosque of Sevilla in El Andalus during the reign of the Almohad dynasty. A Renaissance style was added later on by the Catholics. There we go. Ah. <laughs> wow. This is uh, the tower that used to be a minaret and you can see it in the details of the design and the architecture is so beautiful.
A visit to Spain is not complete without tapas. Tapas are small plates of food in the form of appetizers usually served alongside beer or wine. I tried marinated bell peppers, artichoke with pesto and chickpeas with spinach. The latter was my absolute favorite. It's time to check Las Setas de Sevilla. It's right in front of the hostel where I'm staying, so that's convenient for the end of the day today. It is supposed to be the largest wooden structure in the world. At least that's what it claims to be. And it took a long time to build this, and they certainly run over budget, which uh, the public was not very happy with, but at the very least, it looks really unique and pretty incredible. So I'm gonna see if I can make my way up top. There's a walkway and see what the views look like from up top. This is uh, what it looks like from up here. I was just told that if I want to go up right there, I actually have to go down and then right. But right here, there's also a sign of I love Sevilla. Look at that. This is such an incredible spot for the sunset. It's really beautiful. You get a 360 degrees view of the whole city. You can see all of the cathedrals, the towers, and the colors of this sunset are out of this world. Absolutely beautiful. Las Setas. Las Setas is a structure made of wood and concrete located in central Plaza de la Encarnación. The structure consists of six parasols in the shape of large mushrooms. The design is inspired by the vault of the Cathedral of Sevilla. There are two more things that I would like to do today before we call this day in Sevilla. And the first one, churros with chocolate. And I'm out here at Bar El Comercio. They're supposed to be really, really good. Let's dig in. Attending a flamingo show is a must if you are in Sevilla. One of the most authentic spots where you can catch a live show is La Carboneria. 